Greetings from the Episcopal Diocese of Utah and Happy Epiphany. We are now in the season of Epiphany, and Epiphany is marked by celebrating the glory of God that has been manifested to us in the birth of Jesus and the arrival of the Magi that we celebrate on Epiphany itself, which is January 6th. The season of Epiphany lasts from January 6th to Ash Wednesday, which this year is on March 5th. Epiphany is a wonderful season in which Christians take time to reflect upon the glory of God as seen and manifested in Jesus Christ. It is the season when we focus upon the divine nature of Jesus. I invite you to take time during the season of Epiphany to give thanks to God for the glory manifested in Jesus, for all the wonderful things that have been given to us as children of God who are loved deeply by our Creator. Epiphany is a wonderful season for us to reflect also upon the fact that we are all children of God. That each and every person that you or I meet on the street here in the Diocese of Utah were made in God's image. During these cold winter months, we remember that the people we meet, whether they be homeless, hungry, ill, in prison, whether they be in joy for the birth of a child, for being married, for all of the things that go into our lives as people, that all of us are made in God's image and therefore all are worthy of compassion, respect, and to be awarded the dignity that is there by their very nature themselves. As the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Utah, I want you to know that you are always welcome in the Episcopal Church. We have 25 congregations in our diocese, and you would be welcome in any one of them. I invite you to attend and to join a joyful community as we celebrate this wonderful season of Epiphany. Let me close with a prayer from the third Sunday of Epiphany. It reads like this. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior Jesus Christ, and to proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation that we and all the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and keep you always in his care.